what reincarnation means, really, is really about working around cyclical time. Birth, death, and rebirth, but in a continuous way because we don't believe in a linear occurrence between life after death. Like you leave as a Christian, then you go to heaven or you go to hell. We didn't believe so much in that. So I was like, okay, maybe let me use that as a way to also understand something. Maybe there is something within the body that is already embedded, almost like a DNA, that is responsible for remembering. Why don't we explore that? The dancer's body is a storehouse of memories, of emotions, hopes of pain but I was more interested in the hopes and in the joy because it was also at that time if you remember 2020 that was the year of black life matter black pain everywhere black tears everywhere and I was not feeling it because I'm coming from Nigeria not America and I was started saying what about creating a piece that says black joy matters if I can remember that I was once a slave I think I also have the capacity to remember when I was not yet a slave. So when people tell me, don't forget the past, don't forget the past, I'm like, how long past? <laughs> what about 2,000 years before Jesus Christ? Who was I? I'm interested in all of that as well. So reincarnation for me now become one of those spaces where we can recompose despite the interaction with racism, despite the interaction with slavery, despite the interaction with colonialism, despite the interaction with apartheid and all of that. I should be able to recover for myself my joy in my own image. I am particularly excited about the fact that we are going to show in the UK. We're not going to use any subtitling. People are going to understand. The British people do not know how much Nigerian they have in them. When you go colonize a people, you're not just going with stolen artifacts. You've also gone back with stolen identity. You've learned a lot from us. You might not know it at the intellectual level, but at the, at the corporal level, at the spiritual level, I dare say, we are much more alike than we even know that we are. And I think pieces like this is opening up cracks. It opens it up and invites the audience into a kind of a dive into it. As an artist, I've always been interested in doing something with the energy of Lagos, but I've waited for so long so when reincarnation came, and I have all these crazy dancers, and I thought that was my last opportunity, <laughs> I have to do it now. And I have to find a way to capture the sound. This music, it's not music. I want a soundscape. There's always a soundtrack at the background of Lagos. I need all of that archive. I want to capture all that sound because I know that the bodies, are already in tune with that sonic vocabulary. When they come, I know how to organize the dancing body in a way that they can express all of that. And if I manage to do that, I have done two things. Even for Lagosians who leave it every day, they will be amazed to see it on stage. Now, for people who are not Lagosians, who have never been to Lagos before, they will be like, where is this coming from? <laughs> and the, for people who have been to Lagos before, outside of the country, it will be very nostalgic for them. <laughs>